Heidi with Kiddos Corral. And today for 30, Thursday's vlog, I can't talk, uh, Dylan is going to be helping us with um, making pretzels today. So, in this bowl we got one and a half cups of lukewarm water. And what are we going to put in it? One, one package of yeast. Active dry yeast. Right. And one tablespoon of brown sugar. Actually, it's two tablespoons. I'll put the recipe down below for anyone who's interested. But this has got to activate, and then we'll come back with the second step. Okay, so now we're at the second step, and we have our yeast that has been proofed. I just went ahead and put it in my kitchen egg mixer bowl. I've got one and a teaspoons of salt and I measured out four cups of just regular all-purpose flour. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and add um, the flour a cup at a time and get it incorporated into the uh, yeast. So, I'll probably do a little bit more than that. Um, this isn't really um, that hard to do. You just want to make sure that your dough is what dough needs to look like whenever you get it to a certain point. After you get all of your flour incorporated, you want, want to knead this dough for about eight minutes, um, which I'll let the dough hook do all the work. I keep my hands clean, but if you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, or a mixer with a dough hook. This will all have to be done by hand. So once you get all of everything incorporated, you'll want to take this dough out and put it on a floured surface and knead it for eight minutes just to make sure that it's all well incorporated. Then once we get done with that, we're going to put it in a bowl. Um, I just leave it in my kitchen aid bowl and I cover it with some saran wrap and what I'm going to want to do at that point is just to let it sit in a warm area for a good hour. Then once it's set and it'll rise, then we will want to uh, go on to the next step of rolling out the pretzels. So I'm going to go ahead and get this dough incorporated, I'll show, or this uh, flour incorporated to make my dough. I'll show you what the dough looks like before we start making it rise, or while before I'm not making it rise. It's going to rise by itself. So okay, anyway, so my right dough now. has been kneaded with the KitchenAid for about eight minutes. And um, as you can tell, this kind of dough is sticky. It's really a sticky dough. Um, however, whenever we go to roll this out as pretzels, it will not be that way. Um, I just went ahead and took it out of the KitchenAid. I sprayed my glass uh, dish with just a little bit of cooking Pam. And then I'm going to cover with some saran wrap. I'm going to put this bowl in a nice warm area for about an hour. And we'll see what it looks like once it gets raised. So I hope it raises. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see. Hi, I'm back. And the dough has risen. You're going to come and take a look at it. Um, this is what your dough should look like when it rises. And it looks pretty good. I'm glad it turned out. Sometimes on very few occasions, for whatever reason, the yeast is just not, doesn't do its job for whatever reason. So make sure you check the date on your yeast before you go mixing your dough because you certainly don't want to mix all your ingredients together for, and have them go flop and they're not work out. Okay, so what I got here is two cups of warm water and two teaspoons of baking soda in this pan right here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this dough and it's going to be sticky. So I want to flour my hands and make sure that you have your area floured good because um, you know you don't want this dough to stick to you. So you're going to get this out of here and um, I'm just going to kind of knead it just a little bit just to get um, enough coating on it that you know I can work with it with my hands because you know otherwise you got got issues now what I usually do with this is I kind of make a round just like so and you can see it's sticking to my hands 
You want to make sure you get, you know, a good amount of, um, you know, of uh, flour on there. But what I do is, hopefully I can go out and just grab it, is I take a pizza cutter. And I just make little pieces. I try to make it even. Keep in mind that when you make your pieces, um, when you cut them like this, that uh, you know they're going to have to be big enough pieces to roll out into a pretzel. So I'll show you my pieces here. About that much. So sort of like a ball that fits inside of your hand. Just like that. Let me get some of this excess off me here. I love working with this stuff. It's so much fun. It's like taking me back to my childhood and get Play-Doh. <laughs> so you want to start in the middle. And you want to kind of work your way out. Now, I, um, I have my parchment paper on my um, cookie sheet here already ready. So I want to get this kind of rolled out. You're going to have to play with it a little bit to get it rolled out, you know, long enough to make a pretzel. What I do is, is I just, well, you can do it this way. You can twist it in the middle and then come down like this. And I'll do one more for you in case you didn't get it. But when you get your pretzel done, you want to dip it into the baking soda solution and come over on your paper and place it down because you're going to let these rise one more time before you bake them. You want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees um, so that um, you're ready to place these in the oven as soon as as possible. I've been making these quite often for my kids because we like to hit, <coughs> we used to like to hit uh, Aunt Ed, uh, what is it? Aunt, Aunt, Annie's. Aunt Annie's Pretzel Shop. And um, so uh, it gets expensive when you have as many kids. Okay, so once again, let me show you how to do this. I got, well my snake just broke, but that's okay. It's not not a big deal. You just place it together. I probably don't look like I'm doing a very professional job here, but hey, you know, these are pretzels at home. Okay, so you want to pull your ends up. You want to twist once and then press down. And you can play with it whenever you get it on your sheet over there and fix it. These aren't going to be beautiful perfections, but they're pretzels and they taste good. And my kids will tell you, when pretzels are being made, they don't leave the house. They wait because they taste good. Okay, so I get my pretzel on there. I get me one more. So I'm going to get these here made. Um, and then I'm going to let them set for a little while to rest and to uh, rise. And once they get risen, I'll come back and show you what they look like before I put them in the oven. So I'll be right back. Okay, in a few so I got all the pretzels made up and I'm going to let them rest for 20 minutes and then you want to put them in the oven on 450 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Now, the way I determine whether or not they are, you know, completely done is they will have a nice brown, light brown outside and whenever you touch them they're going to feel like a pretzel does, like you buy. You know, they kind of have, I don't want to use the word waxy skin, but you know, it has that texture of a pretzel. Now with all recipes, the way I feel about it is you got to you got to mess up one batch to get it right the second time and that's the way it is with baking some on some occasions. Now, Sometimes when you make these pretzels up, it doesn't take 20 minutes for these suckers to rise and you don't want them to stick together because they, when they start rising, they will go to town and rise on you. And one time I just left them for the full four, excuse me, 20 minutes and I came back and oh my word, we had the biggest pretzels known to man. So now that I have, um, you know, 
my pretzels rising, I'm going to um, mix a little cinnamon and some white sugar, probably about a half a cup of sugar and a couple teaspoons of cinnamon in a bowl. And I'm going to melt me some butter. When them things come out of the oven, I'm going to brush them with, um, with some butter. I'm going to sprinkle them with the cinnamon and sugar, and then we are going to enjoy. So, Whenever these get done, I will come back and show you the finished product, so I'll be back. Okay, so they just came out of the oven, and I buttered them, and I put some sugar and cinnamon on them, and they smell fantastic. Um, you can see the backs of them are a little bit brown. That's the way you want them. You want them to be still soft, but yet firm enough to be a pretzel. They are awesome, and they are easy to make. So, um, I hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog, and I will be talking to you tomorrow. Bye!